Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. This time we've got some 6 inch black series. I'm going to be killing two birds with one stone. Or two droids with one review. Um, one of you probably don't recognise the other one on the right. You know, it's C-3PO. Um, I've only got one of the boxes. I've got the resistance based version. So you have him there on your left from The Force Awakens. So you've got C-3PO on the box there. Here's number 29. There's a small write up. There and because of the camera, you're gonna have to look at it and add in a funny angle. Nonetheless, now these figures are very similar. There's a very slight difference, and I wanted to do that just rather than do separate videos. Um, I just wanted to show show the differences in each. Um, in the same, you know what I mean. I wanted to show the differences in one video rather than do a full separate review for a slight difference. So go and have a look at the. Uh, now what was it, a Walgreens exclusive to America? Um, eBay exclusive to us here in Australia. So I'm just gonna move him out the way so it doesn't focus on him. Um, I, I'm, I'm absolutely stoked with this figure. Um, it's so, I'm glad we waited. Um, Hasbro have done a great job. Um, done a really, really nice job on C-3PO. He's really clean. Um, this one could have done with a bit of weathering, to be honest. If they wanted to really um, make him look like a good, a new hope three PO, they could have dirtied him up a little bit. Maybe put the restraining bolt on him or something. I think that would have looked cool. But nonetheless, I, I think he's a great figure. Great figure still. I'm really impressed with this one. Um, apparently, they spent a long time trying to get the paint right. I, I don't know. I believe they were going to do. Um, the paint similar they did in a Saga Legends one from a few years ago where that real um Alright guys what I was trying to point out I thought I'd grab it off the shelf is this C3PO here from a few years back. Um I think they were trying to replicate this for the for the for the six inch black series, but um, it that was the that was the rumour anyway, it didn't really work. So they've gone back and done like a matte gold, which I think was a good choice. Um because this one is, it's quite faded. Um, it's got the knot. I can't th even think of what it's called anymore. It's like a plating sort of paint. I'm not sure. I can't think of the terminology for it. But um, a lot of the goldness is sort of faded from this 3PO um, over time. It's not as gold as it used to be. Um, which is disappointing. But Because it's a really nice shiny version of 3PO. But nonetheless, I'm glad they've... Uh, I'm glad they took their time and got it right, because it does look good. Um, like I said, some weathering would have been great, but the sculpt is just perfect. Articulation's good. Um, and there is one. I wouldn't say it's a flaw, because there is a good reason behind it with the articulation, which we'll go through now anyway. Um, so he's got a hinge head, hinge shoulders, um, that sort of arm joint, that sort of arm shoulder thing sort of moves around. He's got a swivel there. Um, just the one hinge there. He's got a joint in the torso. Joint there, the swivel thighs. Joint in the knees. And the ankles, which have that sort of rocker joint. No elbow articulation, and that's purely because they wanted to keep the aesthetic of those joints in there. And I think that's a good job. I think that's a that's a good design choice. Um, would have been cool to have his elbows move, but again, like we... He's pretty stationary. He doesn't really move his arms a lot, except for the prequels, where he's sort of hanging off things. But even then, um, I think the design aesthetic looks a lot better with those little arms and stuff in the middle. So I think it would have taken a little bit away from it had they done it the other way around. But overall, the figure looks really nice. And the nice wires in the belly there. Now that's where they differ to the Force Awakens version. Now Hasbro haven't given us a simple repaint. They've actually sculpted two different parts underneath there, which is which is awesome. So he's got a little bit more colour in that one. But I think I think that's just amazing that, that Hasbro have gone to the extra effort. They could have just done a, a, an easy repaint and but they've actually gone and re-sculpted, which is weird, which is fantastic. So, kudos to Hasbro for that one. Now we'll have a quick look at this one with his 
with his red arm. Now there is a variant that they've, uh, this seems to be the first release where it's a very plasticky looking arm. Um, unfortunately buying online you don't really have a say which which one you're going to get because um, yeah, it's just, just depending on what stock comes out and what goes where. But um, yeah, they've actually revised that and it's a lot darker. I think it's actually painted. But that's okay. I'm okay with this one. It's fine, fine with me. Again, would have been cause of a bit of weathering. I might even do that myself, just to weather that arm. But three PO was quite, quite clean, and then Force Awakens. And he's got his gold lower leg. But yeah, nice details all throughout these figures. Um, they're really good. I'm really happy to have them in my collection. So pretty quick review there for you guys, killing two figures in one video. Um, very subtle differences, but awesome nonetheless. And yeah, it's 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 a cool figure. I definitely recommend picking them up. Um, hopefully, some of these exclusives get do get released down here in Australia eventually, um, because I've had to pay quite a bit more to get them sent down here. I think three PO was about forty two dollars. Um, which is a little bit higher than the standard 35, but, um, and the 3PO, this wave, which comes with the Krennic and the Shore Trooper, I got from the Little Toy Company, um, which if I remember, I'll put a link in the description below. They're a Melbourne-based company, um, awesome packing, awesome shipping, good rates, good prices, definitely recommend them. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Let me know what your thoughts and thoughts are later, and, uh, We'll see you on the next video.